All right, hey guys, so this, uh, this might not show up the greatest uh, as I go through it, and I apologize for that. Uh, I'm working with the space I've got here. So um, this is gonna deviate from what I normally cover. Um, normally, fairly high-end stuff. Every once in a while I try something new or uh, find something on super clearance for you. But uh, what I wanna cover today is the Jansport Javelina pack. And uh, I just checked, you can still get it from Jansport for $47. So you'd probably find it cheaper elsewhere, uh, like uh, backcountry.com or something like that. Uh, but it is still available and I wanted to make sure because I bought it used and uh, it could have been several years old. But so, uh, I've done a handful of carry-on packs. I've done the Pelican MBP or MPB. Um, I've done one of the Maxpedition Lithvor packs. A handful of things that make pretty decent carry-ons. But this thing has really impressed me. Uh, so I actually uh, saw a picture of it and bought it on Reddit to give to my kid for a camping backpack because it looked kind of like an old style ruck uh, and fairly small. Uh, and then I got it and I looked into the features and this thing is a crazy good carry-on. So let me run you through the features real quick. You've got dual water bottle pockets on the outside. Uh, they're not Nalgene sized at all. Um, in fact, they are easily kind of filled up by internal stuff. So I highly recommend that you pack the water bottles and then fill the inside and that should leave enough space to get the stuff in and out. I haven't had any issues with it as long as I put the, the water bottles in first. So on the left side, it fits my big uh, travel pillow, uh, those things where you can put your arms in and then it makes it like a, almost like a tent on the airplane. Uh, but I've got that in on one side and then I've got a medium size hydro flask on the other. And you can see there's, there's plenty of room. It, uh, it really looks like it would fit a Nalgene, and maybe if you didn't have anything in the pack, it would fit a Nalgene, but you're definitely not going to get one back in once you load out the pack. Uh, it will fit two hundred or two uh, 500 milliliter water bottles side by side, though, without issue. Uh, you've also got this front admin type pocket. It's got a little bit of organization in there. Um, it's, it's pretty deep, it runs down to the bottom of the pack. Uh, but you can fit some pens in there, uh, maybe like a Bluetooth mouse in one of those pockets. Nothing crazy to write home about there, but it has some really good uh, depth to it. So just to give you an example, I packed a uh, two-week supply of over-the-counter medications. That fits in there. And then I've shown you uh, this little daily use item bundle before with a charging cable and headlamp and uh, earbuds and whatnot, and uh, that fits in there with the medications with the top half of this thing still open. So there's a ton of room in there. Right. Moving up, it's got kind of a hidden pocket here behind that front pocket, and that is a laptop, or a, uh, an iPad sleeve. It'll fit your, um, your iPad minis, no problem. I don't have a traditional iPad, so I don't know for sure if that'll fit. But it will also fit a uh, ten and a half inch iPad Pro. Uh, but it pushes the pocket to its limit. It'll zip. It doesn't look like it should. It'll zip shut on that. Uh, but if you're concerned with uh, surface wear on the iPad, maybe not the best idea because the zipper kind of. Uh, grazes the iPad as it closes. But a mini for sure fits in there and if a uh, regular iPad is smaller than a ten and a half inch iPad Pro uh, that'll fit. And then it is uh, felt lined in there on both sides so it's not going to scuff up your iPad at all uh, other than potential zipper wear. And it also has uh, padding on each side so it's like a little padded envelope in there. The main compartment is uh, absolutely huge on this thing. For as small as the bag is, there is no uh, nothing keeping you from using the extent of this thing. And I, I really like the way this thing opens up. Uh, it doesn't just zip over the top. Uh, it's not a goofy tri-zip, but it's this kind of U-shaped 
thing that dips down towards the front a little bit. I don't know what you would call that style of opening, but man, you can get anything you want out of here. Uh, it's You have, I think, almost better access than a tri-zip uh, because you don't, you don't have as much stuff flopping around on you. It does uh, kind of catch on the corners a little bit, so it's not the smoothest opening thing, but if you stage your zipper right at the corner, you can have pretty good luck with it, and uh, it opens up really well. There is a, uh, a sleeve in here for uh, papers or file folders and whatnot, magazines from the plane or something like that, and, uh, and then just a big open section, uh, which you can, I, I took this on a weekend trip while I was here and packed three days of clothes, iPad, toiletries, um, raincoat, and it, it all fit in there fine, as well as the, that fanny pack that was in there too. Uh, so you can fit a ton of stuff in here. The lid on this thing, so you would get a normal Jansport label. This has been uh, sharpied. This lid has this, it hints at like a daisy chain thing here, but the only daisy chain is this tab and then these next two uh, spots. This is all sewn down. I really wish there was another loop of daisy chain up top because then you could put a, a shot cord thing on there and have your raincoat or your umbrella on top of this thing, which I think would, would really push it over the edge on functionality. Looking at the back of this thing, it does have some padding. It's not the coolest pack out there. It doesn't have any like high speed mesh or anything like that to, to alleviate sweat. So if you're getting off the airplane sweaty and then you're running through the airport, uh, you're gonna stay sweaty. But I didn't have any issues uh, with this thing being too heavy. Uh, it's got nice padded straps. No sternum strap, but you could easily add one because there's a, it's not sewn down there. So you put one on there. If you've got you know shoulder strap pockets or something that you like to hang on there or clip on there, that'll work. Uh, and then it has a laptop sleeve here. And this is padded on both sides as well. Uh, it'll fit my Surface in a case, no problem. I don't have anything bigger to try, but I don't see any reason why it wouldn't fit like a 15 inch MacBook Pro or something like that. Uh, it should fit in there just fine. The only thing that's odd on this is it has this cord routing. And I don't know if the idea here is that you could charge your iPad or your, your laptop in your backpack maybe like a security thing, so the only thing that's actually loose is the cord. I'm not really sure. Uh, if it went into the main body, it would make sense as a hydration tube, but it doesn't. It just goes into the, uh, the laptop sleeve, and there's no means to hang a bladder in there. So I'm not 100% sold on what the intent was there. Um, it's got a, uh, a carry handle, which I've hung up in airport bathrooms, and it hasn't shown any signs of wear. And then the outsides have uh, compression straps, which are pretty ideally located to take up any slack that you've got in this thing without interfering with the water bottles and, and anything else going on. And then this top pocket is a double zipper, so you could, in theory, lock this uh, for some semblance of security. Uh, but that is the Jansport Javelina backpack. Hopefully this thing showed up. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna post it anyways if the quality is awful I'll redo it when I get home but hopefully you guys learned about this thing $47 I legitimately think this is my favorite uh, carry-on bag that I've ever used it has space in all the right spots that matter to me I think this iPad sleeve is super handy uh, I get pre checked so I don't have to worry about uh, unloading everything from the bag when I go through security, but when this thing is under the seat in front of you, you can get at your iPad real easy. If you need your laptop, it's in its own sleeve, so you can get at that real easy. You could keep your, your cords and your peripherals in the, the front pocket and uh, so that there's nothing getting in the way of them, or even in one of the side pockets. Uh, the only thing I will say uh, that is potentially a negative on this thing is the access in the top of this is so easy um, and so such a big opening that you do run a little bit of risk of spilling stuff if it's laid down in the plane 
or uh, wherever you're working out of. But I didn't have any, any uh, issues with that, but I can see it being a concern. So uh, keep that in mind. But for $47, this thing is awesome, and I highly recommend it if you're looking for a carry-on bag.